Hello, I'm James from Beekeeping for Hope, and I'm also the Asian Hornet Coordinator currently at Portsmouth. So I wanted today to review this product here. So this is the Guard Apis Sentinel Asian Hornet Trap. Now what's attractive about this trap is that it boasts, traps Asian Hornets with zero bycatch. Uh, it also says it preserves biodiversity, saves bees and saves pollinators. On the front as well, it says, use a red nozzle in spring autumn to trap queen Asian Hornets. It's very important you do this. Use the orange slash yellow nozzle in summer to trap Asian Hornet workers. Now the reason why the colours are so close together, so you've got a red nozzle and an orange nozzle, is to do with their eyesight. So they're attracted to these colours. That's why they're not, say, blue and yellow. Do you know what I mean? And they love the colour yellow as well. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to have a look inside. Um, and I'll take you through the Guard Apis Asian Hornet trap. So I thought I'd do this outdoors. So this is the unboxing of the Guard Apis. So let's have a look inside. So first of all, we've got the instructions manual here. Each guard apis kit comes with red and orange colored nozzles that fit, fit the cones, these bits here. Uh, these are designed to all but eliminate bycatch. In the spring and autumn, use red nozzles. Now in the spring and autumn, of course, for the queens, the spring, the ones coming out of hibernation, um, and in the autumn, the ones leaving the nest, the virgin queens. And on the back, some more information. There's a really good bit of kit. As you can see, like I said, with yellow, being an attractive colour for an Asian Hornet. It's got a yellow body to it. So you get that in there as well. Then when you pull out the actual cage, it comes fully constructed, as you can see. And from the inside, you can see that it's got red nozzles on there already. So if you open up the side, it's this bit. I get both the nozzles off. Yeah. So in here we've got some bits and bobs. We've got a little card from Asian Hornet ID, which I'll put on the screen in a second. Which is this here. And then on the back, about downloading the app for Asian Hornet. You could always maybe clip this to the, actually it's cardboard, it might be all right. You could laminate it, clip it to this, if it's out in the public and people can, uh, you know, see if that's in there. See the difference between the Asian Hornet abdomen and the European Hornet right there. So here we are. So here's the red nozzles on the front. So this is trapping queens, because when the queens are flying, um, the European Hornet queens are flying as well. Now the queens of the Asian Hornet are the same size as a worker European Hornet. So if workers are flying in the, at the same time the Queen Asian Hornets were, they'd come through here as well. But to stop that, you take this off, let's give it a, it's a bit tight, yep, like that. And when the workers are in season, you use one of these orange nozzles and stick it on the front. So it's quite clear. I like what he's done, because I've got an original one. And the red and the orange do look very similar. So Guard Apis has actually made these more red, which is cool because the one I've got, I've got one of the originals, they're both very similar to the orange color. So that's really cool there. Also in the box, you get a little note, which tells you here, red eight millimeter queen spring autumn, orange seven millimeter workers in the summer. Got lots of little bits and bobs. You've got a couple of little um, pots to put your bait in, which is cool. You've got a pot inside here already, and you can see how it hangs in there. So it hangs in by some plastic, and to get that out, you just lift the plastic up and you can pull the little pot out. 
and put it back in and just slide it into the little if you can see there there are little holes there we are and just fits back in there so what i did with mine i filled mine with trap it and some gelatine because it all sits in there and it stays still so when it's blowing around like this in the wind up and down you know the rain's on it the sun's evaporating all the juice in here because it's a jelly form it stays in there longer so all we do to line it all up there's a little joint there and that goes into here like so let's clip it all in like that now on the outside here this yellow bit beekeepers will recognize this this is a queen excluder so of course your honeybees if they go in here because some people use honeycombs bait of course if you use honeycomb you're going to get honeybees going in there so they can get out through these of course drones can't get in there but they won't go in there anyway but um, the worker bees they can get in and out if they decide to go in there um, in my trap i've got in my garden I've had lots of blue bottles, flies in here. Um, they all get in and out. One did come through this way, a big one, and he could have got out the same way through this hole, but he didn't because it's quite a hard hole to find when you're inside this. So I just opened it and he flew out. He was fine. But um, yeah, really good little trap this. And of course, you've got a little hole there so you can hook it up into a tree right so your trap should look something like that when it's all done when it's up in the tree it will look like this so this is just an unboxing video just telling you what's in the box so you've got your trap you've got extra nozzles you've got the orange ones for the workers you've got the red ones for the for the queens You've got identification cards, you've got lots of instructions. As the year goes on, we go through the season of beekeeping, through the summer into the autumn, I will show you exactly what I catch in these. If it's um, hornets, wasps, bycatch, if bees get in there, do you know what I mean? I'll film all this stuff uh, and I'll do a proper review of it in the season so you can get a proper review for me on what this trap is all about, how I rate it. But at the moment, I rate it quite highly because of the zero bycatch because I don't want to be catching lots of bumblebees I don't want to be catching moths I don't want to be catching wasps I just want the Asian hornet and I don't want European hornets either so I just want the Asian hornet in here that's all I want I'll quickly just say as for placing it they recommend placing it away from your apiary so place, place it away from your apiary but um, I would say if Asian hornets are in your apiary then place one by your apiary. If they're not in your apiary, put it away somewhere. So the hornets will be taken over there. The queens won't go into your apiary anyway. But if the workers are in your apiary, put one of these up with some trap it in there or some really attractive bait to them. And just, if a hornet gets stuck in here, this hornet will release a pheromone and that pheromone will attract all the other hornets. So that hornet who gets trapped in here by your apiary will act as bait. And then all the other hornets will come in through here, but they'll be orange by then because they're workers and they'll get trapped as well. Killing them, I personally don't like to kill them. I would get in touch with the Asian Hornet app, the MBU, and I would, well, if we can, I'll track and trace. So if we're not allowed to in the UK currently, but hopefully we will be soon, where you can just get one of these hornets in here, mark the hornet, and then work out which way it's going, where it's gone, and then try and track its nest. Because no matter how many times you kill all these hornets, so you say you had a load of hornets in there, you killed them all, put a trap out again, you'll just catch a load more. You're not gonna stop them until you get the nest. So we need to keep some hornets alive just to find the nest. So um, yeah, so that's my unboxing of the Asian Hornet Trap by Guard Apis. And again, if you wanna order one of these, I'll give you the details in the description. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on YouTube, and if you like this sort of content, please comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.